Hi friends, this is Sai Karen and today I am back with ColorOS 3.0 which is ported by Quark OS developer as a part of New Year gift on U forums. I installed this ROM on my phone and you see it's booting up now. And let's review it in a quick way as early as possible. You see, before installing this ROM, you have to clean flash. I mean, you have to wipe data, check system, and all this. And then you have to flash the GF supplied, and then the kernel, which is Velocity 10.3 for Lollipop. My friend had installed this ROM on my phone, and he didn't flash the kernel, and it didn't boot up. So, I recommend to flash the Velocity kernel. You see the phone here, the UI is smooth and looks like iPhone to me. And there are no lags in the UI. And let's check it out. You see the HD icon symbol here, and this means that the ORT is enabled. You see the HD icon beside the battery percentage and let's check a call now. I checked it already but I am unable to make any phone call from the Geo. Maybe OLD is not working although it is showing. It. As you see I dialed the number and it's getting disconnected immediately. And let's have a try again. You see, you see the call failed icon there. And okay, you see here that my I inserted the geo sim in first slot, and the dial is also set to geo sim. And there are options other options here. Mm. I think that OLT is working here because I have tried all the LTE mode, rebooted phone, sim type mode, disabled sims, and other. And while coming to the Wi-Fi, the Wi-Fi is not working as he mentioned. It has got Wi-Fi bug. This is the second point you have to think while you are going to flash this ROM. Not even the hotspot or the Wi-Fi are not working in this ROM. So let's wait until it is fixed. But if you are using only Geo, then it will be a good ROM for you. And let's have a look on the about phone detail. You see the phone name Euphoria and color is version 3.0. Sorry for that. And RAM 2 GB on something. Uh, it's just the info, you know, already. Um, now comes the another bug, which is in the music player. When I play the when I, when I play a song or a music file, it just coming back. You see, that is press the play button and it keeps coming back. And this ROM supports themes like the MIUI, but whereas in this ROM there is no need of login, simply just download and apply the theme which you like. And it comes with kernel auditor. And to change the language, you have to enter the bullet prop editor. Sorry, you have to enter the bullet prop editor and you see the reason which is set to CN and you have to change it to well you click on edit and change the CN to EN which is English okay and just after rebooting it it will be fine and there will be less Chinese version Chinese language display will be off and the other one is the power button. You see, I am pressing holding the power button and I don't have any options of the power key. But whereas a, an app is supplied for this, which is named as Quick Reboot, and you can do the actions from there. And the flashlight is also working as he mentioned. And there is a flashlight app which is supplied already in this room and that works good without any bug. Okay, now 
فوٹوئی کیمرز اور ایک کیمراز یو نو دیٹ تو لیٹس ہیو اے کیمرا ٹچ ناؤ آئی ہیو ٹو چینج اٹ There a couple, there are a pair of batteries in front of me and let's have a shot. And for camera quality, I should say that this is the best, best Chrome ever in camera. You see the quality here. There are no noise present in it and no yellow tints. And the camera is simply perfect in this room. One should use this room if he, he He is very mad at the cameras or photography because this will not affect your quality like other rooms which you got blurred or something. But in this plan, I mean in this camera, beauty mode is not working. You see the FC here. Even on with the front camera also, the beauty mode is not working. Maybe only for Oppo phones only it will work. I'm not sure. And for video we have the 1020p and 1080p resolution but the sad thing here is though it says that it is recording and displays the recording time I didn't find that in the gallery so that means that the video is not getting recorded you see that I had recorded two times and it's not present here only the photo which I had snapped a little while is there so let's check it in the gallery and the gallery UI is also awesome and yes let's search the folder even in there it's not so I think it's a gallery or uh, let's explore the file no. before that let's take another one okay you see that I am recording now four second five second six seven eight okay that's enough you still see that it is in displayed here so let's go to es explorer and check whether it is present there i open the dpi map and what i see is the old photos which i have taken with other roms and in this camera in the down I find the battery. Yes. This is the camera. And in the down, you see the battery I have just clicked. So, this means this is the directory of the camera, but I didn't find the video I had recorded. And this ROM comes with pre installed super user, so there's no need you have to flash super user G. And working fine there is no issue like binary updated issues and another thing I think I have to make a video review like this is that this ROM is not supporting any screen recorders or screen cast so you you are a youtuber and want to review this ROM you need another phone to shoot it I have set all the permissions properly in, even in battery and everything but it's not getting recorded nor saved nor get cancelled I can't stop it so I have to clear it from the RAM and while coming to the RAM you will have 1.2 GB free in the first run so let's have a look it you have 1 GB free out of 2 GB now let's clear the two tasks um, if fairly now it will be 1.10 GB as I install it, some sort of application has decreased a little bit but usually uh, in the first boot you will definitely get 1.2 GB free RAM and another thing I mean the bug another one is the gestures though it have off screen gestures and double tap to wake they are not working double tapping it right now and you see it is not getting awake so I have to use the power button itself and you see that draw circle to launch camera and other things often gestures and they are also not working well 
so it might be the reason that i have flashed the velocity kernel because that don't support these testers and another thing we have got here i mean this is the another bug we have which i have found in this rom is the battery you see there is no battery graph in this rom i don't know whether oppo color os i mean the original os got battery graph or not but even here i can't find the applications running time and the consumed power and even the screen on time i can't give the details on its backup you see i am tapping the display and i can't see anything it's just showing the percentage so if you want to know about the battery backup you you have to install a few battery stack or any other third party app like gives some battery monitor and let's have a call now but before that i want to disable one of the sim which i have installed so let's disable airtel sim to make sure that it will definitely call from the sim one which is geo 4g 5o lte i'm dialing the number now and you see the call failed call failed it can't be zero the number and i had enabled OLTE in the options also you see OLTE provision at flag enabled and LTE RAM dump also enabled and the network is set to LTE only but still I'm not able to make any call so please inform me if you have successfully placed a call I will update in the video description below so if you want to know whether it is currently working now you can check the video description from the below video description in there so let us for a one more last time let's check from both the sims you see i have dialed from Airtel sim which is my secondary sim now and the phone call is going the voice now I tap on first sim and the calling is not going now whereas I can make a call from the sim 2 which is 2G but not YLT this doesn't mean that this is a buggy wrong but you should respect every developer work and please do like this thread on new forum so that he can develop the rooms and fix the bugs as soon as possible and and guys please feel free to join our whatsapp group which the li link has been given in the video description and please subscribe and check out our reviews on other rooms and their battery backups stay tuned